The pound cake's toasted, so it's time to start on the chicken burgers. And they've got this great garlic rosemary mayo on it. So I've got mayo and a pound of ground chicken. We're gonna use one cup of mayo. And we are going to make it super flavorful with some garlic and some rosemary. So half of the mayonnaise is going to be in the burgers and the other half we're gonna smear on the bread. We also need a quarter cup of rosemary. So lots of rosemary to flavor the mayonnaise. And because I have rosemary growing in my backyard, I like to use it as much as I can. Just wanna chop up the rosemary so you can combine it really well with the mayo. So now we'll add the rosemary right in there garlic. So the garlic goes in. Grab a spatula and just mix it all together. And already it perfumes the mayo and it makes it look really pretty too. So mix this all together. So let's start now with the chicken. We've got a pound of ground chicken. But you could use whatever kind of meat you have, whatever you like. And season it with a little salt and a little pepper. And half of the mayo. I just wanna hold on to the other half for our buns. Leave that there, grab another spatula. And remember, this is a process you want to do kind of quick because you don't want to overwork the chicken because you want to have nice, moist burgers. And I think it's going to be really good. Who doesn't like a nice gourmet burger? I think everybody does. Okay, so now I'm going to start forming the burgers. I just want to make sure, yep, my grill pan's nice and hot. Make sure it's really hot before you start forming them because you don't want to touch anything after you're done forming them. See, it gets kind of sticky, but I promise you, although you think, oh my gosh, they're so wet and sticky, this is what you want. Because that way, they're nice and moist on the grill. Okay, on the grill they go. oil. Then I take a little bit of mayo, spread just a little bit of mayo on each one. So we do this now and then we're going to grill them and then we're going to add a little bit more mayo on top when the burgers are done, when we're assembling. Okay, buns are done, ready to flip. And see, they're really easy to flip if you let that crust form. Perfect, so the burgers are gonna finish cooking. Then I'm gonna toast my buns and assemble these burgers. There's a few finishing touches I still have to add. 